Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So in today's video, I'm gonna be planting a bunch of stuff that was in this greenhouse, which is looking kind of horrible, but it needs to go on the ground. So that's why I'm taking care of that today. So everything I have that we're gonna be planting today is on this table. So I'll go through a quick rundown of each one of these plants. So I have one, two, three, four. There's a fourth one here. These are a, tape, a type of uh, red bell pepper. And then right behind here is just like a classic eggplant. So I started these from seed in, I think, March. The peppers I started in February. Um, so they're ready to go in the ground. I have some really sad looking tomatoes. They're all the proven winners tomatoes. So this one's garden gem, um, garden gem. This one's garden gem. Uh, and that one's garden gem. Okay, so they're all garden gem, which is kind of like a Roma sized tomato. They get about this big. Um, you can see they're actually kind of nutrient deficient as well because I haven't given them the proper nutrients. So those are gonna go in the ground. I'm gonna bury them quite deep. This tray, which I'm gonna pull out a little bit so you can see. We have three different types of plants in here. Um, we have Sahara rudbeckia, which is these two rows here. Um, Cherry brandy rudbeckia here. And then a dwarf mix snapdragon. I did pinch these. So these are looking pretty good, um, but they're definitely big enough that they can go in the ground. And then the last few things here, I have a black beauty tomato, which also is not looking that, all that great. And then the last two plants here are blue butterfly peas. So these are going to be kind of a vine. Um, in fact, I think this one actually snapped, but no worries, it has a whole bunch growing. Um, so I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna be planting all of these. So this front part right here, I was just up on the deck there. Um, unfortunately, the two hydrangeas that I planted died. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, then um, you saw the whole story with that. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it got too wet or whatever. There's the other one. So I'm gonna pull those out. But for this year, I'm gonna plant each of the butterfly peas on either side of this and just have them grow as far up as they can on the deck. I just figured it'd be a nice kind of natural trellis to have them grow up on here. Now, if I walk over this way, um, one of these beds that we created, there is the weeping silver birch there. And I haven't really done anything else with this space and I'm not really planning to for this year. It gets a pretty decent amount of sun. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna fill it up with all the annuals for this year. So I'll put like the tomatoes and the larger stuff in the middle and then maybe do the flowers on the outside to kind of make it look pretty. Um, but we'll just do annuals here. We'll take them out at the end of the year. And then I think next year I will um, find some shrubs that we can put in this space. I think as a fertilizer, I'm just gonna put a little bit of plant tone in the hole with each one of these. And the only other thing I wanted to mention is that because we created these beds this year, we did the sheet mulching method where you put cardboard down and then mulch. And there is a thick layer of mulch there. So I'm just gonna um, scrape away some of the mulch so it's not such a thick layer. Um, and then I'm gonna do my best to kind of break up if there's any grass or grass roots that are still there and try to make um, not as compacted of soil for the plants to grow in. It's probably not gonna be the best conditions, um, I don't have an auger with me here, so that would be a helpful tool to have, um, but I'm just gonna use a shovel and we'll just get them all on the ground. So with all that being said, let's get started.
Okay, so it's actually been at least a few days since we have planted everything, and there also was a frost that went by. So I wanna show you what everything looks like. So I think just about everything is still alive, which is really good, um, but things don't look too much different from when we planted them. I ended up covering them with some blankets and stuff like that, and I think basically where the blankets were, like if they were sitting on top of the leaves, that's where there was a little bit of frost damage. So like these peppers, you could see there's frost damage on this leaf and this leaf. Um, it's just spotty stuff like that. This is probably the worst plant that I noticed was this tomato. Unfortunately, you could see that right here, the top of this kind of died off and so did this leaf, but there's still some good green growth on here and I'm hoping one of these suckers will take. The rest of this stuff still looks pretty good. Like this tomato looks pretty good to me. Um, this tomato looks pretty good and they're starting to flower, which is nice. And then this area over here, this looks pretty good for the most part. Um, if I get in close on one of these, you can see like this snapdragon here. I think it still looks pretty good. Some of them too, like if you see this branch kind of curling over, I think it also was the weight of like the tarp or the blankets that I had on top of here. But a lot of the Rubecchia has held very well. I think this is a more colder tolerant plant. Um, so most of the things look pretty good. I think we're definitely free of any frost for the rest of the season. In fact, that was a really late frost. We honestly hadn't had temperatures below maybe 37, 38 degrees since like March, like the end of March. We went all of April without that. And then all of a sudden in the middle of May, it got down to 35, 34. Some areas saw like 33, 32. So it did get pretty chilly. And we did have a freeze warning from the National Weather Service, but I did what I could and it took out some stuff, but it didn't take out everything. So um, thankfully these were pretty good. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna let them grow. I'll keep watering them throughout the season. I'm definitely gonna have some sort of steaks. I think I have bamboo steaks that I can use on the tomatoes and um, I can always get a package of like the thinner ones for the peppers and that kind of stuff. Um, and then I'll just fertilize everything. I, I did put plant tone in the holes for everything. So that should be pretty good. Um, but if I think they need any extra fertilizer, then I can do that with a water-soluble one. So besides that, I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you in the next one.